the Dominican Republic. She weighed in at a trim and ready 164 pounds with a record of nine wins, one loss. She has five wins coming by way of knockout. Introducing the challenger, Monica Nunez. And her opponent across the ring on my right, the defending champion fighting out of the red corner. Wearing white trunks with black trim, hailing from Los Angeles, California. She weighed in at 167 pounds, undefeated in her campaign in the ring with 17 wins, no losses, 14 wins coming by way of knockout. Ladies and gentlemen, proudly representing the outstanding boxing family tradition, please welcome the sensational and undefeated WBF Super Lightweight Champion, introducing She Be Stinging, Layla Ali. <laughs> Reminding you, ladies and gentlemen, scheduled 10 two minute rounds of boxing. Our referee in charge, Robert Dixon, now to give instructions. Come on out. Layla. Layla, come back here. Protect yourself at all times. Listen to my verbal commands at all times. Anything from here down to low blow, anything from here down to low blow. Come out fighting. Let's go. Well, unless you're Mouse Strauss, it's almost unheard of in <laughs> boxing to fight two times in two weeks, but that is the case for Layla Ali, who pulled it off. Despite the calculated risk, two weeks was actually a long layoff for Mouse. A mountainous task for unheralded Monica Nunez facing a woman who's in a league of her own. And under the glare of a Mike Tyson marquee. Taking this fight on very short notice, and here we go. Scheduled for 10. They are two-minute rounds, so they go by pretty fast. Monica Nunez, still really an inexperienced fighter, despite her record of 9-1. and one. She still learning how to put punches together, throw them with authority, and really, at this juncture, she is in a big uphill struggle against Leila Ali, who has made herself into a superb boxer. Let her go. Get and firmly three, entrenched three. is the new face of women's boxing with her convincing win over Christy Martin last year. Although Leila did have the big advantage in size, a fight that never would have been... Uh, sanctioned in men's boxing but Layla inspired to start uh, fighting when she saw her first women's fight on television a fight that uh, we had the uh, opportunity to do Christy Martin versus Deirdre Gogarty back in 1996 had a huge impact on women's boxing in general whether you agree with uh, it or not but a fight in which Christy bloodied the face of uh, Deirdre a picture that landed on the cover of Sports Illustrated Women's boxing lost a little momentum until the emergence of Layla Ali. Right, come on, break, break, step back. Come on, operating let's go home. Let's a go. nail salon home. in Los box. Angeles when she got the boxing bug. One of the stop, fights that stop, helped stop, propel her was a, break. a match stop with uh, Jeff Frazier's daughter Jackie that turned out to be a very exciting uh, battle. Uh, let her go, let her go. Did very well on pay per view. Lots of folks came to see it. Box. And um, that was the beginning, I think, of Layla Ali. She was getting Not better at that time and has continued to improve. And uh, she's, in this round, she's taking a while to decide what no, she's, how she's going to attack Monica oh, Nunez. Even though the fighter in front of her is not on her level, having fought just 14 days ago, could that have an effect? Well, it's a very no, good point. No, she three. says it won't. Come she back. says Hold she's it. in very, very good shape. Stop. She feels good. Pass. We'll see if it does. Well, Layla Ali has nothing but the utmost respect and honor for her legendary day. When I think of Louisville, I just think of, you know, this is where the Ali legacy began. You know, this is where my dad first started out. This is hometown. And, uh, you know, it's really great to be back here. A lot of people here have a special kind of love for me because I am Ali's daughter. When I see my dad on billboards and see his name, you know, on, on street signs, you know, it just lets me know how much this town respects Muhammad Ali and loves Muhammad Ali, you know, and they pretty much put him up on a pedestal, and I think he deserves to be there. Ali, Ali, Ali. 
super middleweight uh, championship. Layla told us not only are there so few challenges out there, hard to, to put fights together because prospective opponents want too much money. Layla said in reality, boxing's not where the money is for her, but outside no, no. of boxing and commercial Free. endorsements. Come back. Free, well, clearly, it. women's boxing, oh, the uh, purse is oh. not up to where the men have it, and so many people have an inflated Free. idea, Free. perhaps, of what she's Second getting. You know, in this fight too, so far, don't do it again. Bye. Layla Ali has looked a little stale. She really has. Uh, Monica Nunez is. It has not been easy for her to hit. Layla is not throwing her punches with the crispness that we're accustomed to see. And you make the point that she fought only two weeks ago. She was not happy with that performance. And um, you maybe could make the case that that's having some impact on her right now because this is in no way, shape, or form what you would normally expect to see from Layla Ali against a, an opponent truly who is inexperienced. Yeah, she's very green, just 20 years old. Monica Nunez wearing the gold with the black trim. Only 10 fights in four years, but she is a tough lady. Says she'll adapt, box her fight. She says the right things. She went into a gym in the Dominican Republic as a uh, little holding infraction. One point for holding. Do not hold. No. Wow, that was quick. Took a point away. Uh, I didn't hear any warnings, to be honest with you. So usually there are a couple of warnings before they do that in any event. Nunez uh, went to the gym, watched for six months, trained for six months, very diligent. Then she turned pro at the tender age of 16, four years ago. Robert Dixon taking that point away, and uh, of course, in these short fights, that has a big impact. Not to mention uh, <laughs> who your opponent is here. Freak, freak, step back. Here we go. Robert Dixon, some background, has been a ref since 1978 with one world title fight. You got to get busy. I don't know what you're waiting on. You got to stay low and let your hands go. You hear me? You can't keep waiting. You got to let your hands go, all right? I want you to get busy. I don't want you in there waiting. You make it look like she ain't your damn level. She ain't on your level. All right. Everyone can see that. All right. Okay, well, let your hands go in there. You hear me? Now stay low. When you come in, take that half step back, put the combination. We take a look back and Monica Nunez doing a little holding, and uh, this is where the point was deducted. That is the place where he turned to all the judges, and he, the way he did that should be a point taken away. Right. Let's get busy, baby. You got damn it. Don't let this girl look good. Johnny Yaya McLean and the fist of his wife. Yaya, a former fighter himself. Buddy McGirt was in Layla's corner her last fight, but according to McLean, he's got too much going on right now, so let go, let McLean go, taking up. over break, break, break. for this fight. Round three scheduled for 10. Uh, Layla Ali off to a, uh, a slow start. And Johnny McClain himself, a pretty good cruiserweight, light heavyweight fighter, and uh, we saw a spirited exchange in the corner there. <laughs> Layla said, okay, I know. And your husband and wife, I guess you can have that kind of exchange. Let her go, get out of there, let her go. Let her go. Bah! As long as it doesn't carry over. <laughs> now, she, you can feel in this bout, you really oh, can no. early, oh, that Wait. she's just not Wait. as sharp as Stop she would normally her. be. If this is the first bah. time you're seeing Layla Ali, you're probably saying, well, she's missing with some punches. They're not as precise. And it's true. Um, and maybe some of this, Monica Nunez has kind of a little bit of an awkward style. And uh, she's making Ali maybe miss a little bit more than she would. Now, having said all that, there's no way Ali's losing this fight, certainly. But she just would, I think, like to be a little sharper. The jab and the straight right hand of Ali alone are very, very back. precise. Back. She lands Free. them. She lands good combinations in her fight with Christy Martin. It was a perfect example of brilliant combination punching. And also in her in her last fight, although she wasn't thrilled with her effort, she threw some good combinations. A little added pressure, of course, on Layla Ali fighting here in her father's hometown of Louisville, Kentucky. A lot of distractions in the last week while she was here. Not making excuses for her. But uh, there is no pressure whatsoever, no expectations for Monica Nunez. Let her go. Break, break, break them And for Nunez, if she goes the distance with Leila Ali, and of course she's got a little ways to go there, it's a, it's a badge of honor, and she just landed a couple of right hands. Oh, yeah, that's a moral victory. Stop. 
interpreter Joe Guzman translating the words of trainer Valentin Contreras as we hit round four scheduled for ten for a women's super middleweight belt owned by Layla Ali in the white let's see if Layla picks up the pace a little more than in the first three the jab of Ali has really been dormant in this fight and usually that of course sets up the right hand that she throws well, she's usually very aggressive a lot of pressure looks to set the pace mix it up throws a lot of punches and punches very busy but a little sluggish right here blood from the nose of Nunez I don't know if that came from a clash of heads or a right hand and I don't see the terrific foot movement of uh, Leila Ali, which uh, if you're the offspring of Muhammad Ali, you figure that's going to be the case. Well, and she does normally have very good foot movement. There's the right hand by Ali, but Nunez on the inside getting a few things done as well. Ali now uh, with a bit of a power surge. The blood continues to come from the nose of Nunez. Nunez's game, I'll say that. She's trying to get on the inside where she would like to bully Ali if she can. Oh, a lot more competitive than a lot of people anticipated. Nunez landing a right, it wasn't very powerful, but got in. And I think fighting two weeks ago, an issue for Layla Ali. Not the first time she's done it. She's done it before. But this under a big spotlight. And he's watching tonight in Los Angeles and feeling very good. Steve? Jim, as if he hasn't already secured a lasting legacy, in 2005, the Muhammad Ali Center, described as a global gathering place, will open right here in Louisville. Ali getting much more aggressive now, throwing more punches on the inside. There's a good counter right hand by Ali. Clearly, she is the better fighter, has better skills. She's probably a bit stronger as well than Monica Nunez, but Nunez has been pesky in there, and Ali has been less than sharp. But now the right hand's getting in. And remember, Nunez has never been past six rounds, so there could easily be fatigue setting in pretty soon here. And one area. As you mentioned earlier, where Ali has really improved is in the body work. We saw an example of it just a moment ago, as we are right here. And she's also a very good finisher when she gets her opponent in trouble. And she just momentarily dazed Nunez. But that right hand is really finding a home. Left-right combination upstairs. And now, uh, Leila Ali beginning to land with more regularity. Well, this is the kind of aggression and combination punching we're used to seeing from Leila Ali, and it kicked in here in round five. She does like to bang those power shots. There's another right hand flat on the jaw by Ali. She actually doesn't even need the jab. She just throws the lead right hand, and it gets there against Nunez. Stop, 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 yeah, stop. she's now just taking pot shots as he just flips her to the canvas. That's a very fatigued Monica Nunez. Let it go, let it go, let it go. So Nunez now just looking to tie Layla up and get through these rounds. How are you doing? No, but I think I don't know if I Don't don't think. You want me to stop the fight? Are you okay or you want me to stop the fight? No, okay. Tell me. So let's fight. Okay? Come on, let's fight. If you can't fight. Layla 
Ali having a very good fifth round and became much more aggressive. The lead right was a, a primary weapon and the body punching. Tremendous lefts and rights downstairs. One a couple string a little low, but that body work I think was very important. And the lead right again later in the round would land. And that combined with this body work that Leila Ali continued to do, I think uh, spelled the the difference and now Monica Nunez uh, is in some serious trouble very tired I think she is now in what uh, is known in boxing as a survival mode round six scheduled for ten will she be able to pick up a second win here Monica Nunez in the gold trunks Leila Ali picking up the momentum in the last round you know, Ali spars with men exclusively. She sparred with Arturo Gatti recently, not before he's getting ready for a fight, usually when he's just to help her out occasionally, Will. And uh, she doesn't have women in her own uh, really weight class that she feels comfortable sparring with that are, will give her good work, and so she spars mostly with men. I remember Christy Martin used to tell us the same thing. Looks like there's a big welt on the forehead of Ali where they clashed heads. Stop, 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 Not in any position where it would three. stop the fight, but uh, you're right. She got banged in the head there, and it's a, there's a big welt there. It's a good thing that didn't happen in her fight with Nikki Epley on two weeks ago, because that would have jeopardized this fight. Absolutely, you're absolutely right. Ann Wolf is probably one of the best go. known punch fighters in her weight class. That, uh, They'd like to make a fight with. They haven't been able to do that, come to terms. And Letitia Robinson, the young lady that they say, Ali was, Layla was very candid, saying that's the young lady with the most talent other than me. And down the road, it'd be good to meet her. She said up till now, her toughest foe was a lady named Kendra Lenhart. A couple of years ago, Palace Auburn Hills on the undercard of, you guessed it, Mike Tyson, Andrew Galata. Another night we won't forget. But uh, Ali won. She's undefeated. Record of 17 and 0, 14 KOs. Fighting pro now four and a half years. The jabs, the right hands, the body work now all coming into play for Layla Ali. Sit down. This one's a little bit better. Keep hitting her. This round is better. Keep going. She's as tired as you are. Keep working that jab. Keep working at that jab. Okay. Keep working. When you're inside, you work inside. How do you feel? Come on. Let's go. Work. Round seven scheduled for ten for something called the IWBF Super Middleweight Championship. Monica Nunez uh, made it through another round. You know, Monica Nunez, when she started as a, a pro back in uh, uh, several years ago, in the year 2000, uh, she was 119 pounds, so she's way up and away from where she was then. The first fight at 168, although she uh, tipped the scales at 164. But it is a super middleweight fight. Layla Ali was hoping to move up to 175 for this fight, but initially her opponent fell out. That body work by Ali, very impressive, and that is making the difference right now. If she keeps going to the body, she'll have Nunez out of there in a couple of rounds. And of course, Nunez has never seen the seventh round. She's in a round she has never been to before. Uncharted territory for Monica Nunez. He's had a couple of uh, eight rounders. But she's never been past eight. Monica Dunia is very tough. She is, you know, hung in there. 
And in the last three or four rounds, he's been hit with some very powerful punches, both to the body and the head. Well, she can make it to 10. She can tell people that I went the distance with Layla Ali for the rest of her life. Ali being very smart about going to the body. She is really focusing her attack down there. Long right hand by Layla Ali. And a flurry. Another right. And laying it on against Monica Nunez. Bill. Who has a lot of heart. You gotta stay small. Right. Stay small, okay? You, you, when you're walking to it, you're walking it down, and you are, you're getting too close before you punch. You keep your range, all right? Just keep your range. You can still go to the body from my side. As soon as you come down, you, you can drop down, come back up. Just keep your range, okay? Don't get too close, because you keep grabbing. And, and when you're taking a step back, and even once you do grab you, you gotta stay small inside. Stay small inside. Take a, step, a little dip back, and let him go for money. Make it, you know, to get off it. Right. You're stronger than her, you're faster than her. You just gotta pick up the pace, stay smaller. And then, I don't want no hooks. I want to do straight from here. Straight shots right there. Alright? Stay small, just stay small. Don't keep stepping on her. Just keep just see what you're back your back She's going to step two, you with her chin up. Stay right. small. in the eighth round for only the third time in her career. Johnny McClain, uh, Leila Ali's husband, manager, promoter, and tonight her trainer, uh, who of course himself was a former cruiserweight and light heavyweight fighter, giving her excellent advice, pointing out to her that she's getting just a smidge too close and reminding her a very important thing. You can throw body shots from a little Wait, farther wait, back because there's no danger of Monica Nunez powering her, so don't, you know, smother your own punches. Monica Nunez fighting pro four years, nine and one with five knockouts. Her only loss versus a, a woman named Rosalind Morales back in October 03, a fourth round split decision. Out of the Dominican Republic, living in Irvington, New Jersey. Let it go, punch away out there. You know, when Ali go. gets on the Great. inside, you can Great. see Nunez doing a lot of holding. That's another reason why Johnny McClain doesn't want her getting too close, because she'll be tied up by Nunez. And there you see Nunez go. doing it, go. it again. Get out there, punch away out there. Get out there. Nunez is telegraphing her right hands, being stop. Stop. picked stop. off easily by Leila Ali. Point. One point, hold it. If there's another one, uh, Monica Nunez could easily be disqualified. As if things aren't bad enough for her, she ha is having points taken away for fouls by referee Robert Dixon. You know, Nunez has done almost nothing offensively, uh, and that's allowing Ali to just walk in and do as she pleases. When Nunez does throw punches, she's landed some straight right hands. Uh, maybe I couldn't call them straight right hands, but she's landed some right hands. Keep up. There's a real low. There's a low. Now Layla being cautioned for uh, low, uh, low shots. 